Thanks, Molly. Uh, vaccinations are underway in Ontario, but in the meantime, some employers are using new technology to add to their pandemic arsenal. Pearson International Airport employees, some of them have been given COVID safety alert devices, similar to devices that created quite a bit of stir in Ontario last month. It's wearable technology that alerts users if they're getting too close to one another and can also be used for contact tracing. Similar to pagers, Pearson employees can wear the clip-on devices on their belts or coats. And if they come within two meters of another employee wearing one, the device will begin vibrating and flashing. When the alert goes off, the information is also recorded in a log so that contact tracing is possible if an employee does test positive for COVID-19. The contact tracing can be a very large challenge as you try to rely on the memory of the individual, who they were with, when they were with them. With this device, we were able to do immediate contact tracing. The GTAA announced last week the devices have been worn by 1,000 Pearson workers since January. They perform the same task as the federal government's COVID alert app, which notifies users when they've been in close contact with someone who has tested positive. What makes this different? Yeah, that's a great question. We were finding that when that COVID alert app went off, it was actually sending the alert app to seven or eight, nine people at the same time. So with our device, it was set to be more accurate and to give us a very definitive distancing. The GTAA has invested $200,000 in the project for the development, design and deployment of the devices. Their announcement comes just weeks after the provincial government invested $2.5 million for a tech company to develop similar devices, wearable bracelets that also notify users when they are too close and can be used for contact tracing. The government says they were designed to mitigate the spread of COVID in workplaces and settings where smartphone use is limited or prohibited. But the investment sparking outrage at the time, with taxpayers calling it a waste of money that could be better spent elsewhere. What's really happening as we roll a year into this pandemic is there's this slow creep of these kind of devices coming in without a lot of really, really rigorous public debate. And with more devices rolling out, privacy concerns are emerging. I worry very, very much that we're losing ground in terms of, you know, our, our right to freedom and privacy. And when this pandemic ends, I wonder how easy it's going to be to walk that back and, and reclaim what we've lost. The GTAA says their device doesn't track the location of any employees. There was definitely questions around it. Uh, the employees were concerned that we were looking to track where they were. And that is the farthest thing from the truth. You know, we were looking to ensure that we were providing something to them that would protect their health and well-being. And the GTAA says the devices have already been useful, helping them to contact trace when one of their employees did test positive. They say they do acknowledge that it would be better if all 15,000 employees at Pearson could wear one, but so far it is just the GTAA employees.